They're working hard to make sure the newest member of the Navy fleet is ready to hit the seas. So, as a special holiday treat, the Star Wars saga went to our local heroes along for the trip to a place not so far away. Then to your side, photojournalist Rob Rizzo. The flight deck of USS Gerald R. Ford is quiet as she steams in the Atlantic off the coast of Virginia. <laughs> Hustle and bustle of the ship's activities on hold. Look, I am your father. As Walt Disney Studios' Kenneth Caldwell prepares the sailors for a war like no other. You don't know the power of the dark side. Missing out on the chance to see the opening of the newest Star Wars movie, The Last Jedi, in theaters, Disney brought the movie to them. <laughs> It was an escape for the sailors, a chance to watch the battle of good versus evil between villains and heroes. Getting to see it, especially before everyone else, was amazing. And I was, like you, I was cheering along with the crowd at those pivotal moments, you know? It was amazing. It was awesome. I, I, I was kind of bummed out that we were going to be out here and I was going to miss the midnight premiere, but I got to see it before anyone else. Disney execs giving thanks to the military, pointing out who the real heroes are. Right around here, this is real. You're the real heroes, believe me. And I thank you for your dedication, for your service. How neat is it to be able to watch a, a premiere screening in an aircraft carrier on uh, the ship's Hainer Bay doors? The sailors on board CBN 78 spent the afternoon watching the movie. But the memories they have of their own private screening will last a lifetime. On board USS Gerald R. Ford, Robert Rizzo, 10 on your side. Rizzo, I'll tell you, even better news for the crew. The sea trials are short and the crew will be back before Christmas.